Hey you guys, happy holidays. It's Icy Eye Candy back with another video. And we got a good one today. Is April and Fizz's relationship for love and hip hop fake? Is it like Tiffany and Fizz's relationship for marriage boot camp hip hop edition as well as love and hip hop? Does O know about this whole thing? And is that why he said change the narrative? Hmm. They should change the narrative though. I'm going to drop a clip of where Monice and Tiffany spill all the tea. You are not going to want to miss this. It's kind of sexy when I want it, but you tease me. And you don't let them get us out of your head. Because you know when I leave, I'll be back to your bed. Because, girl, we got a good thing. So I can't let them fuck this up ready for wedding rings. One of a kind, glad your mind's such a blessing. Future baby mama, if you're ready. Okay, you guys, I'm sure everybody remembers this scene where Fizz decided to try to make it official with April. Let's check it out. You know, uh, April Jones. Yes. Will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure people will have their opinions of me trying to make this relationship official after the tour, but it is what it is. You know, timing is everything, and I can care less what people have to say. You leaning in like you want something. Yeah, I do. I need to know what the lips really feel like. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, it looks pretty believable, right? Now I want you to take a quick listen at Tiffany spilling all the tea with Moni. So here, Tiffany is saying how they went on a couple of dates. They talked a little bit on the phone, but the vibe was dry. She didn't really like him. There was no spark. There was no chemistry. She was not interested in him at all, and they never had any intention of dating or doing anything. She's never even had any kind of relation sexually with him. And she gets into the story as to how Fizz made a proposition to her to fake a storyline like they were together to get that bad. Check this out. So then he reached out and he was just like, let's talk about next season. And I'm like, what do you mean? So I'm like, what do you mean? And he was like, let's get this bag. And I'm like, I'm always down to get a bag. Like, what's the plan? And he was just like, let's go on there together. And I'm like, okay. <clears throat> but at the time, you were seeing somebody else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, okay. He knew that. He knew about mm -hmm. situation. I'm getting my bag, whatever, whatever. No, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I say, why don't we have a sit down and just everybody, you know, really figure it out as far as the season goes because – Coming from the season I just had, I've learned that you need to sit down and establish some shit beforehand. So what Tiffany is referring to here is that cast members typically end up meeting up outside of filming to kind of discuss how far they can take it, like what they're going to say. That's why they say a lot of this reality TV show stuff is not really reality. It's somewhat scripted. So... That's what she was referring to. She's saying that she thought they were going to sit down and kind of discuss it as a whole before they did it. But Fizz didn't want to do that and sit down with Moniece. All right, let's keep going. Fine. So we start filming. And from the jump, I'm like, okay, before we film, we have to get social media hype. Nigga, you need to start meeting up with me. We need to start going out together. We need to be seen together, holding hands. Like, people need to get us on fucking camera. The kiki. This nigga the didn't do the kiki. So I don't know if any of you guys were out there like me, but when I saw this relationship happen, I was like, where did this come from? Like, they literally dropped out of the blue. Well, this is why. Because they didn't do any groundwork in terms of letting people see them dating they didn't really do that many photos so they literally dropped out of nowhere being in this dysfunctional relationship and we were like where did this even come from so she's explaining why because they weren't fizz wasn't cooperative with trying to build the groundwork for the story okay posting 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 pictures 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 mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it just looks stupid because he wasn't jump. giving you no life right so he posted in his story and that was it Yep. So then we film when we would get to set, we would take little videos, little pictures, because that's mm -hmm. the only time I'm fucking seeing him. So I'm like, nigga, we got to keep social media popping. Mm -hmm. So our last scene, what? well, the last scene was the breakup scene. I don't even think they aired that. No. No. So we did the dinner scene. Uh-huh. We were there in the house all day. 
Mm-hmm. First, we filmed the bedroom scene, which didn't really, it didn't make it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So, we filmed the bedroom scene, which was a whole lot scene. of kissing and in the bed. And it was a lot in that scene. Then, AD popped up. Yeah. We had our words. AD left. And then, later that night, it was our dinner scene. Mm-hmm. So, looking back on it now, it's like hearing Mo say, tell me if this is real, if this is fake, so we can establish it right now. Tiffany... Like, what needs to take place for us to be on one accord? So, in case you guys didn't catch that, she was saying that Monice in that scene was like, tell me if this thing between you guys is real or fake so we can establish what we're doing here, like, what's going on. And Monice has always been like that from day one. She she knows that some of this stuff is fake. So, she actually said the same thing this season when it came to April. And you say that shit every time. You You said it now with his new new so it just didn't work then marriage boot camp that was another bag opportunity he called me when i was out at the club he was like where you at i said hollywood he said link with me i got a bag opportunity i said i'm on my way sat down told him about marriage boot camp like okay cool he was like i'll email i'll have my attorney email everything numbers whatever i'm like okay cool we get to marriage boot camp we arrive separately because we're not together of course the show thinks we're together everybody thinks we're together we're not we're not together of course, the show thinks we're together. Everybody thinks we're together. We're not. Okay, so you heard that. Tiffany told it where in two reality TV show opportunities, they pretended to be together just to get the bag. The first time was Love and Hip Hop, and the second time was Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition, where Fizz reached out to her with lawyers involved and a whole plan and they decided to get that bag which they got it and then go on their merry way so it makes you wonder if that is what this whole situation is going on with april because to be honest with april it would be a little bit more cooperative than it was with tiffany because tiffany wasn't really feeling fizz like that she wasn't really into him However, I do believe that April and Fizz were friends and then they decided to do this whole thing. So it makes you wonder, are they really in a relationship or not? And is that what O meant by change the narrative because of this whole plan that they have? As you know, April is not going to mind another opportunity for getting attention and to make some money. As we see, she's always looking for attention online. Looking busted and dusty, which is fine, okay? Got pimples and everything. Just wanted to come on here and just address that people think that I'm photoshopping my body. So I just would like to just, you know, do a little walk. This just goes to show that Omarion was probably so over her. Yes, she may be a pretty girl. Yes, she may have a nice body. But Omarion was clearly over all of that. All of that wears away after a while, don't you think? Now, all you see April doing is hanging out with her male best friend, going on vacation. She's drinking a lot and she's getting IV pumps because she's drank too much. She's out here glorifying gifts that she's received, you know, for whatever she got for, I don't know if it's Christmas or her birthday, but this is what she's focusing on is receiving gifts drinking, hanging out with her male best friend. You don't even see her that much with Fizz anymore, you know? Because honestly, that's probably a fake relationship, to be quite honest. And April always has so much to say, right? So Moniz is saying that this is her last season. I would be happy if this is her last season, but I don't believe anything that Moniz says. So I believe that she will come back. I believe that eventually one day she's going to need the check because she has nothing else going on. And that's just really what it is. Like Moniz talks a lot. And at this point, that's why we feel like it's just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Moniz says she's not coming back. Um, well, really, to me, that would be completely up to network because... Monice has nothing going on, and at the end of the day, if she's allowed to come back, then she will. But if network is done and actually over her and not letting her come back, then this is her last season. You know, it's interesting that April and Fizz have so much to say on Monice, and Monice has been the realist. You know, if at the end of the day, April is the one that's out here on vacation, she's living her best life for her birthday, I don't know how much she's really thinking about her kids. 
I think all that she has on her mind is Lil Fizz, if he's even on her mind, to be quite honest, because we are not even sure if the relationship they are portraying is even real. What do you guys think? Do you think Fizz and April are in a fake relationship? Do you think Monice was right all along to question whether this was a real relationship or not? And what do you think about April? What do you think that everybody's saying about her going away, not really being around Fizz that much, that she's probably living her best life with another man in vacation, wherever she went? And what do you think about that? Anyway, drop your comments. Leave the information below. I want to hear what you think. Media platforms. Uh, my Twitter, my Instagram, which I'm going to drop here for you, and my Snapchat. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Bye bye. I leave, I'll be back to your bed. Cause girl, we got a good thing. So I can't let them fuck this up ready for wedding rings. One of a kind.